Welcome to NationalWeatherForce.com. We have a slew of hail reports up through southeastern Kansas into the Springfield, Missouri area. Uh, these are going to be lifting along north of the warm front, and this is going to be producing mainly elevated convection, so it means there's not much surface instability for damaging winds or tornadoes at the time. However, today we're going to be starting to see uh, that clear skies working in from the south. We have some dew points surging into the 60s from Tulsa and uh, up into southeastern uh, Missouri as well, and even into northwestern Arkansas. And this is going to be bringing in the good chance of damaging wind potential with some bow echo segments as it moves across the area. Let's look at the severe thunderstorm watch I have across the area. This is a very large severe thunderstorm watch. It extends all the way from northern Texas through most of Oklahoma into some of southeastern Kansas through Missouri, northern half of Arkansas, northwestern Tennessee, and the western, extreme western part of uh, the Kentucky area around the Paducah area, maybe even just a little south of there. But that's what we're looking at from along the warm front with this system. If you see the uh, predictive radar image, this shows that we're looking at storm systems already developing across the area. We already saw those with the hail reports. However, we're going to be starting to see more storm system back into Texas, Oklahoma, moving eastward throughout the evening and into the night hours throughout Arkansas, southern Missouri, and eventually uh, east of there. So what we're going to be looking at is not too much. Just like yesterday, we have undercutting in the area. So I didn't do a tornado watch. We don't have these dew points in the 60s surging into southeastern Missouri like I would like to see and some of the boundary layer is a little bit cooler so not much rising motion uh, to get those uh, tornadoes moving because tornadoes are usually just warm air rising with some shear in the area most of the shear for this one is going to be in northeastern Oklahoma northwestern Arkansas and southeastern Missouri stay tuned to nationalweatherforce.com <laughs>